A health care merger with a promise of transparency is now the subject of legislation that would keep certain information confidential. We're talking about Ballad Health. The company assures us that the merged organization will still be more transparent than any other health system in Tennessee. But the organization told Nate Morabito that changes are needed to make sure the not-for-profit has a fair chance to compete with other health systems and for-profit health care companies. Yeah, Senator Rusty Crow says Ballot Health provided him with this draft legislation in recent weeks, calling it an oversight that the state, lawmakers, and the health system failed to address the confidentiality issue earlier in the process, as the final cooperative agreement included many more reporting details than first expected. He says at first glance, it's easy to misunderstand the bill's intent. We shared this legislation with the Tennessee Coalition for Open Government, which prompted some concerns. Ladies and gentlemen, Ballot Health. Now that the historic Ballot Health merger is a reality, the people involved are realizing they didn't do enough on the front end to ensure the new health system isn't at a disadvantage when it comes to competition. This legislation just says that those things that are normally held as proprietary information in hospital systems as they operate and try to provide health care to their citizens would be uh, held as proprietary information for ballot. That's all this is. And I guess you could say, in, in a way, it was an oversight. Senator Rusty Crow says if passed, his bill will still require all information to go to the state for regulatory review, but keep confidential from the public certain records, including those related to finances, agreements, and facility closures or repurposing. I would not pass something that would, that would try to infringe on, on the public's viewing of uh, information that is normally seen as as uh, being public. In a statement, Ballot Health told us the not-for-profit is not a public entity and must be able to compete with health systems outside of the region and private companies within the market, adding Virginia already allows the redaction of competitively sensitive info. Ballot continued saying the bill is, quote, a sensible approach that ensures an unprecedented level of transparency, subjects Ballot Health to unprecedented levels of state oversight and review, and ensures competitively sensitive information remains confidential as it should, end quote. Do you have any concerns about this legislation? Well, it does seem very broad. Coalition for Open Government Executive Director Deborah Fisher understands why some of the information would need to be private, but she says the legislation leaves room for interpretation. It also gives Ballot Health the opportunity to challenge the release of certain records in court. The other thing that concerns me um, is the ability of the uh, hospitals to essentially sue the state if the state says we think this should be public and the hospitals uh, don't think it should be. She says public records exemptions are routinely passed too quickly without enough consideration of the public's right to know. Nate Morabito, News Channel 11, in your corner. We wanted to know exactly which ballot health records would eventually be available for public inspection. The health system sent us a 17-page list. We posted it on WGHL.com.